I play you the beautiful gem of Lady Smith's Black Mambazo featuring Salif Keita. Say, uh, united we stand. Indeed, once you are united, that's when you'll be able to defeat your enemies on its own. Taking us to 20 minutes after it's 8, it's Prefab FM, the station made for this session. Hashtag Fresh Monday with Mr. Kenneth Thomas Mate. As we already highlighted you in the beginning of the show, we have a motivational speaker, inspiration speaker, personal intelligence, verbal linguistics, and uh, that sanguine for you. Let me take this time to say good evening, uh, Mr. Mate, and welcome to Prefab FM. Thank you, Ndiva. Good evening to you and good evening to the listeners. Yes, in just case, uh, you, you are the, in fact, uh, the original host, or we can say the genesis host of Fresh Monday, when we take people uh, to a nice mood of what was regarded as a Blue Mondays to a, what is known as a Fresh Monday. C can you just... He lied to us. Uh, last, last week, we were talking about uh, how to discover your purpose in life. Yes, thank you, Ndibo. Uh, last week, we, we looked at um, the work of uh, Vlad Doleza in how one can uh, discover or find out what one's purpose is in life. Doleza talks about four ways, but we looked at three the first one being what we call, or what he, Toleza calls, the Venn diagram, where you ask yourself questions about what are the things that you are good at, what are the things that you love doing, and how, or what are the things that makes this world a better place. And by sitting and writing all those things down, you get to get a better picture of who you are. The second one, we looked at what Toleza calls the the, the wound of wisdom, whereby one looks at a difficult situation that one has overcome, and we gave example of the man who was sitting in who is sitting in a wheelchair, who is now part of the campaign of road safety and things like that. We looked at a lady who had a kidney failure, and today she's educating others about kidney uh, kidneys and how to take care of them. And the last one we look at what he called the eulogy technique, where you look at your life at the end of it and then you look back and then trying to see what are the things that you have achieved what are the people that you are you have in your life and what are their roles so that is basically what we looked at uh, last week and of course we did um, encourage people to go to uh, engines like Google where they can find such information, go through those things, read and find out what the best works for you. Like I gave an example, for me the, the, the Venn diagram worked best and that's why today I am here and I am a part of this educational process that we are in. Mm. Let me just recap on this one. Step number one up to step number three and four that we're going to discuss this evening. Can we just recap uh, for our listeners? Quickly, step number one, we said, who am I? We're talking about identity and we looked at different research uh, materials. We looked at the Johari window. We looked at the the multiple intelligences of Howard Gardner. We looked at the temp uh, personality temperament mm -hmm. of um, Tim LaHaye. We looked at the learning styles of um, uh, Peter Hahn and Alan Mumford. These are all information that people can find in their libraries. They can find in, 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 in Google and other places. Then step number two is the the one we're talking about, right. um, what is your purpose, what we have just highlighted, we looked at that last week, and then today we are going to combine step three and four. Step three is the vision, and step four is what we call the station. Now, with the vision, we are asking the question, where am I going? Hmm. And with the station, we are asking the question, where am I right now? <laughs> okay. Can I go on now? You can, you can go. You can go on. Okay. Thank you. When we look at the vision, maybe we also need to consider that the Bible says in Proverbs 29 verse 18, where there is no vision, 
people perish. Yes. Now, when we're talking about the vision, we, 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 we're not talking about things we see with our eyes, but we are think, we're talking about seeing your future in your mind, having a clear picture of what your life will look like 20 years from today. Hmm. That's what we are talking about. And if that is not clear in your head, you will have a problem that you will find yourself being taken to places by other people. But when you know where you are going, then people will not take you where they are going. I, I, I normally say this, Nibo, and I want to repeat it. Hmm. When you don't know where you are going, others will take you where they are going. So you need to have a clear picture of exactly where you want to go. You need to have a clear picture of what your life is going to look like 20 years from today. Hence, we need to ask ourselves this question. See, how big do I want to go? As a speaker, Nibo, mm. the question is, do I only want to be a local speaker, only going around the province of Lipombo, or do I want to be a national speaker going throughout the, the, prov the, 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 the country of South Africa, or do I want to be an international speaker going beyond the borders of South Africa and beyond Beyond the borders of Africa. So those are the questions that one needs to ask. How far, how big do I want to go? How far do I want to go? And as we have already said, where do I want to go? Because you need to understand that so that when you are going, when you know where you are going, you are able even to look at the progress, whether I am going in the right direction. Let mm. me give you a simple example. If I were to leave Bulukwani today and I go to Johannesburg, along the road, along the N1, because that is another thing, we're going to talk about this next week. Mm. The first thing I have to know that I am going to use the N1. Yes. And once I'm on the N1, then I expect to see road signs which tells me Johannesburg is 340 kilometers. After driving for a certain distance, then Johannesburg is 200 kilometers. But the moment I start seeing Johannesburg is 300 kilometers, and the next board says to me, Johannesburg is 500 kilometers, then I know I'm in the wrong place. Hmm. I'm in the wrong direction. <laughs> and it, it, it can't be, because the closer I get to the place, the distance Listen. has to become shorter. Yes. So this is why it's important for one to know where one wants to go. Number two, you also need to know who are the people you want to take with. You hmm. remember here last week when we talked about the, the eulogy technique, where you look at your life at the end, some of the question asked was, who are the people with you? Because why is it important that you need to know the people you want to take you with? Because you have got a clear picture of where you want to be, and you have looked at your identity, you know of what you are good at, and you know of what you are not good at. So those are the people that you need next to you, the people who will be able to do those things which you cannot do for yourself. You need those people who will help you to move in the direction that you want to go. You don't mm. want people who will take you in a different direction. So it becomes important that we create or establish meaningful relationships. It does not necessarily has to be friendship, but it has to be meaningful relationship. Meaning that we're talking about making relationships that will add value in our lives. Mm. Hence, it's important to evaluate our relationships. Some relationships unfortunately need to come to an end. If you have got uh, somebody whom will sit with you and you spend four hours discussing a team that is not winning games, you need to consider such relationships. They are not taking you anywhere. Mm. You need to ask yourself, what value does this relationship add into my life? What value does this relationship help me in getting closer to where I want to go? So it is very important to also consider the people that you want to take with. There is a man in the Bible called Jabez, as I move from step number uh, three. Mm. This man prays a prayer, and he says, God, bless me indeed. 
expand my territory. This is the prayer that most of us, if not all of us, have to pray when we consider our visions. How big do you want to go? How far do you want to go? Ask God to extend your territory. But this should only happen once you know what your purpose is. Then you need to know where you are mm. going. Now, when we go to step number four, we are now talking about a station. We are now talking about where you are right now. Because before you move to where you want to go, you have to start where you are. Nero, I'm sitting in Puluban now. Everything mm. starts where you are. If you were to ask me to stand up, I'm not going to stand up in Tando. Because I'm in Puluban. <laughs> yeah. So everything starts where you are right now. Now, when we talk about the station, we are looking at your current status. What is your education level? What are the resources that you need that you will will take you where you want to go. What are the resources that you currently have? Because that will then tell you what other resources will you need going forward. That also will determine when it comes to the, the type of people that you choose. Where can I get the resources? Who are the people who can give me the resources that I need? So the station is about looking at your current situation. It's about looking at your current status it's about looking at the things that you need for you to move from where you are which is your station to get to where you want to go which is your vision so you need to ask those questions and you need to be honest in answering those questions because those questions you will see when we get to next week in Libo, when mm. we will be talking about goals those questions when they are answered correctly will determine what the time frame are. Those questions will determine whether your vision is going to be a 10-year plan or is going to be a 15-year plan. All these things will be determined by answering these questions. So, you will notice that there is a link between these steps because once you know your, your, your identity, it also linked to step number four. It also linked to step number five. You will see when we talk about Nick next week. Because mm. your identity tells you of who you are. It tells you of what you are capable of doing and what you're not capable of doing. So in step five, when you do that assessment or that evaluation, then you get to know who are the people that you need to bring in. Because you don't have to bring anybody. Here's another thing, Dibo. Mm. We tend to attract the people who are like us. But the challenge is when the people then get to our environment, because they are like us, they want to do the things that we are also doing. Not long, we start fighting for the territory. <laughs> what we need to do is to go look for people who can do the things that we cannot do for ourselves. Oh. That is very important. That is why it's important for us to do an assessment in the station before we move. Because we also need to make sure we are in the right station so that we can know when we move, we move in the right direction. I normally say this, Ndibo, mm. when you don't know where you are going, you also don't know what mode of transport you have to use. Yo, 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 yo. And this is what can happen. Because you don't know where you are going, you will find that you need a train to go where you want to go. But because you don't know, you see people flocking to the bus stop, you follow them. When you get to the bus stop, then the bus comes. Because you know you're not waiting for the bus, you let it pass. But when the train station or when the train arrives at the train station, you are not there, so you also miss the train. Mm. So it is important to know where you want to go. That is your vision. So that you will be able to also identify the right mode of transport. Let me give you an example. If one wants to become a medical doctor, one will need to know that already an FET falls apart. 
Yes. Because FET does not offer such type of training. So this person needs to know that, okay, that what I need to look at now is a varsity. But looking at what I am now, I am in grade 11 or I am in grade 12, but what are the needs for hmm. a varsity? So you start assessing yourself. I normally say this when I visit schools, when I visit, I talk to young people. Giving an example of two young people. That's why it's important for us to do the assessment in the station. Mm -hmm. One young person, the parents can afford to send him to university. The other one, the parents cannot afford. So you have got two young people, both in grade 12, but one can, af the parents can afford to send him or her to university. The other one cannot. Now, the one whose parent can afford to send to university, all that he need or she need is the minimum requirement of the university. Mm. But the one whom the parents cannot afford to send to university need more than the minimum requirement of the university. This young person need to go out there and look at some organizations or companies that offers bursaries. And now this young person need to meet the requirement of those people in terms of what they offer in terms of their bursaries. So that is why this station thing is very important. And that is why the vision is also important. You need to know where you are going, but you also need to know where you are. Do an assessment of what you have, what the needs are, and then you will be able to make sure that you choose the right mode of transport. Hence, next week, we'll be talking about the roadmap. Mm. And we are going to look at goal setting. Because now you know where you are, you know what you have, then you need to look at how do I get where I want to get. Then we're going to talk about goal setting next week. Mr. Marilla, just quickly back, go back to step, step number three, visions. Talking about people uh, that we want to take into us, into our, our lives, into the next steps. Uh, there are some people that, in fact, uh, the, the, this take, taking about taking, taking people to the other step is kind of a difficult step to them. What do you have to say to those people? People, when, when we, 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 we are not um, the same. There are people who have got a developmental mindset. Mm. These are people who are easy to approach because they understand that for them to be where they are, somebody help them to be there. So also they avail themselves to be able to help others to go there. Hence, there is a need for us to identify people who can mentor us, to identify people who can coach us. Because sometimes all you need is for a person to spend with you a certain time, coach you, give you a certain skill, and that person can move. But at certain times, you need somebody who will take you by the hand and walk the journey with you. So we need also to understand that it's not everybody who is going to easily stretch their hand to take us with. Some are going to easily do that, others are not going to do that. But other times, we need to be able to even understand that certain things will have to pay to get them. Certain things, there are people who are going to volunteer to give them to us. But at the end of the day, we need to know who those people are. And this is important, Nibo, mm. because at times we get frustrated because we ask things from people who cannot afford to give us those things. I normally say this to people. I will not come to you when I need 10,000 to ask 10,000 to you <laughs> when you, I know you don't have 10,000. All, right. All that you can give me is sympathy. And then you cry with me. If I had the money, I was going to help you. No, I'll go to the people that I know, they have the 10,000. So mm. this is also important that as people, before we get to people, we also do our own research, find out about the people that we need to help us and make sure that the people that we check or we go to are the people that we know they've got the ability, the capacity and the capability to help. The willingness is something that we might not know, but we need to at least know they have the ability the capacity and the capability to be able to help us with whatever that we need to be helped with. 
I can only say that was uh, step number three and step number four. Vision and station on its own. Next week, we are on which step? Next week, we are going to step number five, which is the roadmap. Mm. And we're talking about setting goals, but not just goals, but smart goals. Yeah, yeah. Contact details, Mr. Mate. Kenneth Thomas Mate, that's me on Facebook. Uh, on WhatsApp, people can find me on 072-299-2819. On voice call, they can get me on 071-671-5369. Thank you very much, and we'll meet again next week on Hashtag Fresh Monday. Thank you very much. Thanks to the listeners. Let's meet again next week when we talk about smart goals. There you have it, listeners of Preferable FM. Thus, you can find it anywhere else unless you tune in on this particular radio station. It's called Preferable FM and it will give you nothing but inspiration speakers and also a caring capacity or human capacity coach, a life coach on its own. That was Thomas Kenneth Mate on this particular station. Taking us to 19 minutes before uh, the hour nine. That's how definitely your Monday has to be sounding like. Yeah, man, you are on Prefab FM.